So you're at a place in your life where you think it may be time to buy a home. Maybe you just got married or you just started having kids. Maybe you got into a new career, you have more income. What does it take to qualify for a home loan? When we meet with people and help them get home loans, we like to use this analogy. Your home loan is like a table. It is being held up by four legs. Now the four legs of a home loan table are income, assets, the actual property, and your credit. Let's start with the income leg of your loan table. Now it's obvious that if you're gonna take on debt, you have to have income to make the payment on that debt, right? You don't have to have the largest amount of income. You don't have to have the most consistent, most shiny income out there to qualify for a home loan. But the more consistent it is, and the more of it you have, the easier it is. Now there is a leg of this loan table that's associated with income, and that's the credit leg. Now, credit is important when qualifying for a home loan, the things that you would think about like your credit score, right? I and mean, the higher credit score you have, the easier it can be to qualify. But there's a portion of your credit that is tied to income that plays a really big part in qualifying. What are the outgoing payments on your credit as it relates to the income that you have? So a simple example, if you make $10 a month, and the outgoing payments on your credit are $9 a month, there isn't a whole lot of room there for qualifying. But if the opposite are true, you have $10 a month coming in for income and you have $1 a month going out on your expenses on your credit, that helps a lot. And as I mentioned before, credit score is important. If you're having a credit score that's above 740, 760, you're gonna get a great opportunity, but you don't have to have that high of a credit score to qualify. You can qualify for a loan as low as 660, and in some cases as low as 620. And there's even some weird loans out there where you can get a loan if your credit score is below 620, but it's not necessarily advisable. Again, a lot of it depends upon how strong the other legs of the table are. Now, a quick note, uh, although all four of these legs of the table are very important as it pertains to actually qualifying for your home loan, uh, the credit leg has probably a bigger impact on the actual interest rate that you can get. And we did a video about this last week, so make sure you check that out. Now moving on to the next leg of the table, and this one can be often overlooked, but it's extremely important, and that is the asset leg of the table. When you qualify or apply for a home loan, you're gonna get questions like this. How much money do you have? And where did you get that money? And how long has that money been in your account? You see, if it's money that you've been saving for a while, that you've earned on your own, that's really good. But if it's money that's maybe gifted to you or dependent upon you from a down payment assistance program or worse, it's money that's magically showed up into your account that you can't necessarily source, that is a risk to the bank and that can impact your qualifying. Look, you can get a home loan with gifted funds. You can get a home loan with down payment assistance, but to qualify for the best rates and to make qualifying easier, it's best if your assets are your funds that you've earned over a period of time. And just like the income leg of the table was connected to the credit leg of the table, there is a correlation between the asset leg of the table and the property leg of the table. So why this property leg of the table is so important is because this is the one that's associated with your down payment. If you put a certain percentage down, the amount of money that's being loaned on this property is part of qualifying. Now there's a myth out there that you have to put 20% down, and we did a video on this topic as well. You can click here to check that video out. Now while you don't have to put 20% down, the amount that you do put down does impact qualifying. The other portion of the property leg of the table that's important is the type of property that it is. Is this a mobile home that has wheels that can be taken on the road and lifted off the property at any time? Well, that's, that's risky and that's gonna impact qualifying. 
Or is this a property that's in a homeowners association that has a group of people dedicated to maintaining not only the outside of the property, but the neighborhood as a whole, which then impacts how that home value could change. The property leg of the table is measured, yes, by the down payment, but also the type of property and the type of neighborhood that it's in. The bottom line with this property leg of the table, it has to do with collateral. What kind of home is the loan being put on and how much skin in the game do you have as it relates to this collateral? Ultimately, this whole analogy about the table and the legs under the table, the whole thing with qualifying for a home loan, it has to do with risk. How risky, how balanced is this table? Now, you don't have to have all four legs super solid. Now, that helps a lot and it can make your home loan process a whole lot easier, but you don't have to have an amazing leg all the way around. You might have a shaky credit leg, or you might have a smaller down payment, which makes your asset or property leg a little smaller. And those things are okay, especially if you have bigger legs at the table somewhere else. It can balance things out and make the table a whole lot safer. There's less risk. So what does it take to qualify for a home loan? Well, you need to have four strong legs. You need to have income, you need to have assets, you need to have credit, and we have to look at the property. Those are all important things. But there's another important thing that I didn't mention yet, and that is how you obtain this loan. Now, sure, you can go online and try and get a home loan on your own through a robot, and that might work for you. I don't want to advise that. The best way that you can get a home loan is by working with someone local, someone who knows all four legs of the table, the properties in your area, but can evaluate your income, assets, and your credit, and make sure your loan is gonna be what's best for you. Oh, and pro tip, that's how you get the best rate. Working with a local mortgage broker is absolutely the best way to not only qualify for a home, but get the best interest rate. Well, there you go. Now you know what it takes to qualify for a home loan. If you know somebody that's in the market to potentially buy a home, or maybe someday they want to buy a home, share with them this video. Empower them with this information so that they too can get the best mortgage possible. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week.